Okay, so this is something I brought up in the last video. I may have made a video about it before. I don't know, I don't know if it's still up. Um, it's why there are so many churches in America. Well, you got to understand that America was first under the Russian Patriarchate because Alaska had gotten light and the Russians were here first. So anybody who came to America when they were Orthodox or they're Greek, Arab, uh, Alexandrian, Egyptian, Bulgarian, Serbian, if they were under Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy, even if they're from China and Japan, would be under the Russian Patriarchate. And actually, uh, Japan and China are um, are from that same same stem of Orthodoxy that America is. It's from the Russians enlightening America. And you have the Orthodox Church of America, OCA, and that's still around today. In 1917, and they were connected back, they were they're auton autonomous but not autocephalous. Uh, now, <clears throat> the uh, around uh, just you know just after just before the Russian Revolution, Tikhon, the uh, Patriarch of Moscow, Saint Tikhon, told everybody he said, "After I leave this Patriarchate." Um, uh, the one who comes after me will be corrupt. Do not listen. Do not listen to this, basically to this sea, to Moscow. Don't listen to them. They're going to be corrupt. They're going to be frauds because there are already uh, both atheists, communist atheists, becoming priests in the Orthodox Church to wield power, and there were Orthodox priests uh, going over to con a uh, dialectic materialism, radical atheist to communism. Uh, Joseph Stalin was one of these. He studied as a novice monk before he became a communist atheist. Now, St. Saint, Saint said, said, uh, form your own churches. You know what? The OCA might have not been, it might have just been the Russian Orthodox Church of America. Uh, said, go form your own churches. You know, don't, don't listen to this, uh, you know, go off, still be Orthodox, but don't listen to C. What he meant is that every country should have, like the OCA, should have, you know, orthodoxy for its country. But instead, everybody went back to uh, whatever line they came from. So the Greeks uh, started going, forming their own churches, going back to the uh, to the metropolitans in uh, Greece. And this happened everywhere. Bulgarians, Ukrainians, everybody kind of, when they came to America, they just listened to their guy. Because they, you know, they were told to. They, or they thought they were told to. What they were actually told to do is just form a national church. That's not what happened. They went back and they, uh, they went back to their old patriarchs. So America is a very strange place in that we have one United Orthodox Church that's broken up and it seems to have all these different faces, you know, um, the Arabs under the Antiochians, uh, the, uh, the Nationalist Greeks under, under Greek rule, Bulgarians, Ukrainians, Serbians. We got all these little weird ethnic churches now. Now, they, you, we have an American church, the Orthodox Church of America. That was the Russian Orthodox Church in America. But there were also Russian Orthodox here that went back to the Russian Patriarchate, which they were told not to do. So we had the Russian Church in the OCA. And then we had another group called the Rokor, the Russian, Church, Russian Orthodox Church um, outside of Russia, I think it was. And the uh, they were actually uh, split off from all Orthodox because when they said, don't listen to this, uh, people don't listen to this patriarchate. They said, oh, well, you know, all the other patriarchates are in, still in full communion with them. So by proxy, they left too. So they said, oh, well, then <laughs> now Greece and Antioch are apostate, which is kind of insane. So they totally broke off and they became their own entity until two years ago when they merged back in. And 
when they merged back, there were still some holdouts that said, you know what, no, uh, there's still communists in power, or Putin is the new um, the new ruler of Russia, so he rules the church, and all this weird stuff. And they became ROAC, and that's what you hear when you hear the catacomb churches in Russia. That's ROAC, and I actually know a ROAC bishop, and I know somebody who uh, is a part of the ROAC church, um, actually my godbrother, um, Stephen. Uh, we actually called him Uniot Stephen because he came from the Uniot churches into Orthodoxy and now he's come to Orthodox and gone to Roa. Um, but he would still call himself Orthodox. So we have all these things, all these outlets for Orthodoxy in America, but they're all very ethnic and they don't they don't want to bring the light of Orthodoxy to America. They just want to do their thing and meh. So the churches try to get back together. And Everyone's on board. Says, yeah, we shouldn't have all this nationalistic division. Should be the Orthodox Church in America. That's it. Well, you know who got in the way, don't you? The Greeks. No, the Greeks won't have it because they're Greek. I mean, it's it's very disgusting and sick. I've always hated nationalism. I don't mean uh, pay, you know, some type of you know great patron, but just of my country's better. Screw you. And I've hate, even had Greeks think because I have some Irish blood me. I'm like, yeah, you know, well, you know, my mother said I have Irish. Oh, you know, the Irish, they were originally Greek. No, they fucking weren't. They were Irish. They, I mean, the bombastic, obscene, obnoxious attitude that the, the Greek Orthodox people bring. I'm not surprised that, uh, I actually am surprised that anybody's orthodox or that I am. I mean, they, like I said, when I went to St. Athanasius, they said, oh, you know, you're not, don't, no, 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 you're not Greek, don't join this. I mean, what if, uh, what if the Catholics did this? What if everybody in Rome said, no, we're the only Catholics because it's Roman Catholic. Anybody who's not from Rome, you can't be Catholic. I mean, that's no other the the uh, the Missouri Synod Lutherans. Oh, you're not from Missouri. Sorry, you can't be Missouri Synod because you're not. I mean, the absolute ignorance and stupidity that the Greek that the Greek people have, and not all of them. I'm just talking about some of them. They have when they view their religion, they see the word Greek. Oh, that means us. You know, I mean, it's very it's a sick thing. It's like the Mormons with America. You know. The only reason it's called Greek Orthodoxy is because the Greek language was dominant in the eastern half of the Roman Empire. The Greek East, the Latin West. Um, and that's where the main liturgy came from. And the works were preserved in Greek, unlike the West, where all the works, and even the Bible, were preserved in Latin. I mean, I could imagine, and the, the Greece that's now Greece isn't Greece. Not, it's not ancient Greece. Ancient Greece is Anatolia. That's where the fountainhead of all the uh, all the seas were. That's where everything was. So nothing was in the islands uh, at that time. Uh, Greece was really uh, Anatolia, Syria, and uh, Palestine. That was that was when you talked about Greece, that and Alexandria. Those cities when you're talking about Greek, the Greek church for you know first couple hundred years, the islands were just a backwater. Um, the, uh, so, I mean, it, this would be like if somebody from Latin America was, oh, the Latin, oh, that's our church. The Latin West, oh, yeah, you know, we're, we're the only ones that can be uh, Catholics because we're, we're, we're Latinos, we're Latins. The Irish and the Polish, they can't be uh, Roman Catholics because that's part of the Latin, I mean, it's taking one word uh, misusing it, misunderstanding it, and then applying it. it. It's really ridiculous. And that's why we don't have a uh, one Orthodox Church in America. They wanted to unite many times. <clears throat> and the, the bishops were talking, the Russians and the Arabs have no no qualms about this. They want, they want to get back. They want to have one big family of Orthodox people, which would be a beautiful thing. 
which was what made my parish particularly special because it was an Arab it was an Arab church, but we had Ukrainians, Russians, Bulgarians, and even a Greek because he couldn't stand <laughs> Saint Athanasius. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of I mean, it's not in orthodoxy, the bitching and the politics. It's the things that surround orthodoxy. It's the people and the attitudes. You know, I was about to say, oh, there's a lot of politics and bitching, and but there's actually none. There's no disagreement. It's just um, people, just nationalists who don't act orthodox and who just uh, are obnoxious and uh, bombastic and loud and screw everything up. Like I said, always. <laughs> Not necessarily the belief system. It's the people. People who choose to follow it or choose not to follow it. Alright. Peace. St. Tikhon. Told everybody. He said, after I leave this patriarchate, um, uh, the one who comes after me will be corrupt. Do not listen. Do not listen to this to this sea, to Moscow. Don't listen to them. They're going to be corrupt. They're going to be frauds because. Okay, so this is something I brought up in the last video. I may have made a video about it before. I don't know if it's still up. Um, it's why there are so many churches in America. Well, you got to understand that. America was first, in, and they were connected back. They were, they were auton autonomous, but not autocephalous. Uh, now, <clears throat> the uh, around uh, just, you know, just after, just before the Russian Revolution, Tikhon, the uh, Patriarch of Moscow, the Russian Patriarchate, because. Alas, it got enlightened. The Russians were here first. So, anybody who came to America when they were Orthodox or they're Greek, Arab, uh, Alexandrian, Egyptian, Bulgarian, Serbian, if they were under Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy, even if they're from China and Japan, would be under the Russian Patriarchate. And actually, uh, Japan and China are. Um, are from that same same stem of orthodoxy that America is. It's from the Russians enlightening America. And you have the Orthodox Church of America, OCA, and that's still around today. In 1917,